What is up guys and welcome to another video. Welcome to the Sinister Camaro channel. Thank you again for joining me for another video. I'm going to be answering the big question that you guys have all been asking me because we've already done the wrap care. If you haven't seen it, link will be in the description below so you can check it out. So basically the most asked question on the channel is how in the world do I clean my black wheels? They get dirty every two miles going down the street and I can't seem to make things work. Well today I'm going to let you on a little secret of mine. Basically how I wash my wheels without even using water. Yep, that's right, right after this. All right, everybody, so before we even get started, I just wanted to let you in on a little secret. Now, I would not do this to chrome wheels. Uh, it will work and it will get it clean, but over time, you'll get those little spider web cracks and all that nastiness and you don't want to do that and have to polish your wheels all over again. So I don't recommend it on that unless you've got a ceramic coating or some kind of hardening over top of the chrome. That way you're just messing with the actual finish on top of the chrome instead of the chrome itself and have to get it re-chromed and it's, it's a whole big mess. Basically this will work for uh, gloss wheels. It, it doesn't matter what color, any kind of wheel you want. Now in order to make this work without damaging your wheels, even on this gloss surface that I have here, make sure that you at least wax or ceramic coat your wheels before trying this method because I'd hate for you guys to mess up your wheels. This is basically what I do, one layer of wax or two layers of wax probably every one or two years. So I don't do it that often, but I do this method all the time. I do it before shows, I do it at shows. I even do it right before I'm about to ride a town or something like that. Um, I try to do this as much as possible. My wife even does it. So it's super, super e easy, super simple to do. It shouldn't be any kind of mess or anything like that. Let's get right into it. So as you can plainly see, I got dirt all in it. I got dirt built up here. It's all dirty. I don't recommend doing that unless you want to scratch your wheels. But plenty amount of dirt, dust, brake dust, just everything coated on this wheel. And it's caked on there because I haven't washed these in a while and it's been rained on so it even gets caked on top of the cake. And you don't have to worry about these. These are just spikes. So. Don't hurt yourself if you have some of these. If you don't, just don't worry about it. All right, so what items are needed for this method? First of all, you need your waterless wash, any kind of like solution that cleans, and two microfiber towels. That's pretty much it. That's all you need for this process. Very quick, very simple, very easy. Now, if you, the way I do it, when I'm about to roll out to a car show, um, I like to just spray all in, all of this wheel, get it very nice and lubricated. Get all the spokes in there. Now, if you leave your car sitting after doing this way, it will, the brake disc itself will get like spots and stuff like it would if you washed it. So it's no big deal. Once you drive it down the road, it'll come right off. If you want to not do that, like let's say you're at a car show, just spray it on the cloth itself and wipe it down. That's it. Because I'm doing this, it's because so much grime and everything built up on it. If you want to wash it first and then do this method, perfectly well, welcome to do so. But for the nitty gritty people that just want to get it done, get it out of the way like myself, pretty much all you have to do, spray it on and then wipe it off with one of your rags. Now I will say, I'll pause for just a second and just let you know, make sure that if you're in a car show and you actually care about your wheels, Get behind the spokes. It's one of the places that a lot of people bear, uh, miss a lot of time, so get behind those spokes. Don't forget about your brake calipers too. And last but not least, See these spokes right here? There's crevices around the spokes. Make sure you get in there too. There's a lot of grime and dirt that likes to get stuck up in there. What I like to do is basically just spray my cloth the very tip of it like that. Put it in here on the side and just swing it around. Just swing it around. Swing it around town. And that's all you need to do. So we'll do that to the other four. Alright, 
so here is the wheel after as you can see all that grime and brake dust that was on there for the majority it's gone all nice and shiny even those crevices I told you about it's nice and shiny like I, and like I said before see your brake this brakes right there nice and brown from the cleaning solution don't worry about that as soon as you drive it a couple feet down the road hit the brakes it will get all that grime off of there so don't even worry about that at all and the final step take your clean rag and do the same thing but without the cleaning solution to get all that residue and leftover gunk off of and voila we are done so this is kind of results you can expect at the end of it nice and clean looking a whole lot better than it did before yep and that's how you do it with no water now the final step if you can guess what it is in the comments let me know what is the final step of every tire cleaning other than getting the brake dust stuff done what is the last step let's go to it right now let's see if you're right all right so if you guessed tire dressing you'd be correct you can't be complete without some good tire dressing now when it comes to selecting one for me I like a good shine to it but I don't want it to sling all over the car so number one tip make sure to get you a good cleaner because I've noticed that some of these sling everywhere and if you're on things like motorcycles and it gets on the gets on your tread or anything like that when you go to turn it's gonna slip up from underneath you so make sure you get a good one that looks good Make sure you get one that looks good, that doesn't sling everywhere, for your brand new clean wheel. So let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm going to be using the Chemical Guys Hyper Coat Protectant Dressing with their applicator. And of course I've got my glove on. The reason why you see me it shows with gloves on when I put this on, it's really gunky to get on your hands. It's really hard to get off. It's really greasy. So I highly recommend get yourself a glove so you don't have to worry about that. That way when you go meet people, when you actually shake their hands, it's not going to like slip in between it and just feel all nasty and gunky so make sure get yourself a glove pro tip That's what we're going to do go ahead and spray it on the applicator right there we got it going make sure to get the entire wheel especially the bottom of it because as soon as you pull away that bottom's going to show so you want to make sure you get it nice and clean That's pretty much it. Tire dressing's on. We got the wheel clean, brake calipers clean. The brakes will be clean as soon as we drive it off. All in all, pretty easy, simple thing to do. Let's go ahead and do the front one. So this time around, I did the other method that we do where we just spray on the rag and pretty much around the perimeter of the wheel instead of spraying it all in the middle of it. As you can see, my brakes look fine. They got little spots on it here and there because you can't be perfect with it. But that is a clean wheel. Tire shine and everything. Let's pull out into the sun and get a comparison of what it looks like. Alright, so just a side by side comparison. As you can see, this is the dirty side. Dirty. And dirty. Nastiness. Here's the clean side. Clean. Look at all that. You see, this is the back wheel that I sprayed all over. Moved it literally 20 feet. And it's already gone. So don't have to worry about it. Here's the front one as well. Nice and clean. Gotta love it. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. I hope you learned something. Please leave a like on this video if it did help in any way possible. It does help this video and this channel out so very much. Thank you for your continued support and for bearing with me when we got back from vacation. Thank you so much for everybody who stayed in touch on Instagram and Discord. You guys are awesome. I enjoy talking to you guys, getting to know you guys a little bit more. We'll be having some more videos coming out soon. More car show related videos, of course. And any other things you want to see, leave down in the comments below. Thank you guys. Always remember, stay sinister. Perfect.
perfect, perfect.